All right, what we have here is a plastic bolted P800 pump fitted with the new full stroke Teflon diaphragm. Uh, one condition that's been noted uh, during assembly is the fact that you have a, a quite a large gap with the, uh, the center section just simply placed on the liquid chamber. Uh, it was first thought that this was a shaft issue when in fact it's actually the shape of this uh, liquid chamber is a bit narrower than uh, any of our other chambers. So this will be a little video uh, that will help you install this onto the liquid chamber. What we're going to do first, we're going to put a couple of bolts in and just engage them enough to get a couple of threads in place. You just want to get maybe a couple of turns on each nut. Okay, moving on to the other side, you want to get some type of a clamp, either this one of these little bar clamps uh, or some other type of C clamp in order to put pressure on the air chamber and the liquid chamber. This will allow you to get the second side in place. With enough uh, thread engagement to get those bolts run down. Now we can simply place the rest of the bolts in and we'll get ready to put the second side on. So here's the completed side. Uh, you can see that all of the bolts are now fully engaged. Uh, the diaphragm is seated in both beads. And by the way, uh, if you don't have one of these bar clamps available, uh, you can also use uh, some longer bolts. Uh, if you have some 3 8 uh, 4.5 or 5 inch bolts, you can use those as a temporary uh, uh, assembly to fit both sides on without even utilizing a clamp. Uh, that way you can pull those down with the longer bolts and then put in your other standard 4 inch bolts uh, and remove those and finish your assembly. But you'll note here now that one side's, as one side's on you have this very large gap that we need to uh, take care of on the opposite side. That's what's next. All right, so what needs to be done is to somehow uh, get this diaphragm to set down in the bead so we can basically do the same procedure uh, that we did for the first side. Uh, one way to do that is to just simply apply uh, pressure to your air inlet, which will uh, push on the one diaphragm and just simply pull that down. We can do that with a regulator and just a little bushing here. So uh, we'll get that going. Apply a little pressure. So now that diaphragm is in the, the right position for us to get on the other side. Once again, just simply getting a couple of turns on the threads. And we're going to 
apply the clamp or the longer bolts or whatever you have available. Now that we've got them started, uh, we can do the same procedure and apply uh, the rest of the bolts, tightening them down in a star pattern. By the way, if, if when you do put pressure to this, you're noticing that it's simply blowing air, that means that your air valve spool is in the wrong position. You may take a rubber-tipped air nozzle and simply put a little burst of air into the bleed port which will shift your air valve and get it in the right position so that will pull down your diaphragm.